everyone. Um, so today is super nice, so I thought I might as well sit outside and do a quick video um, while it's nice. So you might hear some dogs barking, you might hear planes overhead, you might hear all sorts of things, but I'm hoping that it'll be um, a short, fun video. So again, this week we'll be talking about um, kind of my makeup date, I like to call it that. Uh, we'll be talking about kind of the ins and outs of my collections, what's been going on, um, some of the things I've been trying to hit pan on, or at least work on regularly and um, also just talk probably I'll probably talk a little bit about um, kind of as I'm heading into a no buy kind of what I'm thinking about right now so let's get started so first let's talk about some exciting things that's been happening um, I think I told you guys that I'd be working on a few lip products um, that's kind of really been my thing that I've been really wanting to pan is lip products so I have some pretty good updates here um, my lip liner in the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Um, I've actually sharpened a few times at this point now. Um, not a ton, but um, I'm realizing that this is a little bit lighter and pinkier than I'm expect. at least I would like to wear this time of year. So, um, so I might bring this in if I have like too dark of a lip color or something, but I'm pretty much going to be using this as an adjuster. Um, I did also get this Huda Beauty lip contour lip pencil from the um, lip kit from Sephora this year and I think I'll be pulling this in a little bit more since it is darker of a tone and um, yeah we'll see how this one adjusts some of the other lip products I've been using. Super exciting is that I've been working on the Rare Beauty lip uh, the balm what is it called? It's just called like a balm. But as you can see, I have some major windowing. And this is kind of cheating because I actually pushed all the product to like the back side of the product. But pretty much, um, I mean, within two years, two, not two years, uh, two weeks, you know, use, I'm already getting some serious windowing. And this is like pretty regular use. I probably put it, I probably put it on like four to five times a day. Um, I'm pretty generous with my products and I'm not really going anywhere, but <laughs> I still use a ton because I like to see progress in my products. So, I'm probably gonna put this aside for a little bit. Um, for me, I find that this color is a little bit too brown for my liking. Um, I'm f feel like I am definitely in like the more I would like one more berry tone right now. So I put this aside for a little bit. Pull this out when I'm ready for it again. But very excited about the progress. Really cool to see that I can do this much in about a week and a half, two weeks. Um, and so you can too if you try really hard. <laughs> um, but the next lip balm that I'll be kind of working on is this um, Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. And I already have a decent amount of use in this. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Let's go. As you can see, it's already like a third of the way done. Um, and it's only about, the product's only about as long as this right here. So, um, so yeah, so I'm pretty, have some decent progress on this. I'm not going to roll it all the way up because it tends to like, um, slide out the packaging if I do but what I do is I don't know if you can tell at all is I put a little marking on the on the on the bullet itself I use a tweezer and just kind of like gouge a little line in there um, and I feel like that really helps me track my progress or at least like daily I can see myself slowly slower and slower getting closer to the line so that's always really really satisfying um, but yeah but I really enjoy this there is a little bit of a tingly feeling similar to like Burt's Bees lip balm like the original yellow beeswax one um and I really like that feeling I know it's probably not that great for you but I enjoy it so um so I use this as long as my lips let me um and I'll kind of keep working at this um another product that I've had some good progress on is my mac uh, let's see what they call this the powder kiss velvet blur slim stick um in the shade brick through and um I got this Mm, about a year ago I think I was really excited about the new packaging because it's really cool it's actually really nicely weighted and it's kind of like a metal packaging um, but I already also have some good progress on this you can't even like see all the way inside because of how deep <laughs> how much I've used up but again I use a similar technique where I put a little marking on it you can kind of see at the bottom there I gouged a little marking on there and I actually gouged um, a marking on the top too I just kind of keep the tweezers open in that position just like kind of mark it two lines right there and actually made it to the second marking so um so i really don't have that much left this is all that there's left right now i would say this is maybe about half a little more than half the product um that i've used up so far some of it was organically some of it um i did mix-ins with like other products and things um but I find that this layers really nicely over the, um, I really enjoy the feel of these two products together. So um, I've been really enjoying that and um, hope to continue to use it that way. 
Um, another product that I am think I'm pretty much done with is my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I actually put a different cap on it because I really, really love the MAC and they pretty much just continue it at this point. They kind of they sometimes put it on their sale page every once in a while, but it's their hot and the MAC's hot and naughty mascara where they had the two um, different openings essentially. So basically when you, sorry, this is like such a tangent. Basically if you take it out with both caps on, then it's like a really, they call it volumizing, but it's pretty much just like more product on the wand. And then, um, this cap essentially acts as like a, um, what are those called? I'm like, my brain is blanking, but essentially it like scrapes off more of the product so then this is a lot lighter and i used to do this anyways with like tissue paper but then that would waste a lot of product so this way i'm actually keeping all the product inside uh while using it up but i still only use my mascaras for about three months so um so it's around the three month mark now i'm starting to feel like this is getting pretty empty so i'm gonna go ahead and let this go likely if the nyx mascara i choose is um can fit this top I might just clean this wand out and put it in there because I just really really love the applicator so that's going to be heading out of my collection um, and then this serum this is the L'Oreal Revitalift 2.5% uh, hyaluronic acid caffeine I think it's an eye serum I end up using this a lot just as a face serum actually I would actually just like pour it onto my hand which is how I used it up so quickly because I only got this about two months ago um, but yeah, I'm not really an eye serum person, I realized. I was really looking for it because I thought that I had really dark under eyes from um, just not sleeping super great. But um, I just ended up using this more as a face serum, and it was okay. Um, this applicator wand is kind of the gimmicky part of it. You can kind of see it through here. It's like these stainless steel balls that you can like roll under your eyes and stuff like that. Eh. I don't really care for it. So, um, so I'll be pulling in a new serum, I think. I think I'm almost done with this. I did use it kind of liberally, though, so I think that's why I uh, don't, shouldn't really be using any more eye serums because I just end up using them as face serums and just kind of waste it that way. So, um, yeah. A few things I want to start working on this coming week. Um, I'll probably be doing some weekly updates, sometimes bi-weekly, sometimes weekly. I think it depends on kind of how many things I want to talk about. I think moving forward, I want to um, start working on this Pat McGrath um, Rose Velvet Lipstick. I always love the packaging, but I will say I had a full size of her products, and those are super nice packaging, really weighty, um, and just really nice. But this is just kind of like the cheap plastic knockoff of it. It's still from the Pat McGrath brand, but like that's their way of like getting their packaging on a mini, and it's just light plastic, and I'm kind of disappointed by that. So anyways, the color is... Um, rose velvet and I find that it is um, a little bit too light and a little bit too orangey for me like peachy for me so I probably won't be um so probably what I'll do is I did break open my lip sample pack and um I'm gonna start mixing I think these together and seeing kind of what looks I get just kind of experimenting um I think that's really important to do with your collection is to experiment and so and that's what I'll be doing is um just experimenting a little bit with with that together and seeing if I find a combo that I can I'm willing to put on like every day at least once a day and try to get some new some things um so a few things that I got this past since I last updated you guys on my collection I got to get a few more new products which is kind of disappointing because I was really hoping to phase that out but I think I'm still kind of in that like pre no buy like crazy buying type of spree and it's it's not a great use of my money but um I think I'm realizing it's, I have a lot to work through. So I really need to be work, going, really need to be committing to the no buy. Um, I have a few products that are coming in, which I'll show you guys um, next week, in the next week or two. Um, but I think I'm going to be officially starting my no buy and um, really hoping that I'll use, you know, these videos and things like that to keep me accountable. But one of the new things I got is um, this Rare Beauty set, their holiday I guess they're kind of like a holiday kit. Um, it's their Rose Every Day, I think. Every Day Rose kit. Um, basically, it has a lip liner and then one of their um, lip oils, which, again, I would not say it's actually a lip oil. It's probably just like a tinted lip. It's like a, it's a lip tint, like an actual tint your lips. So I would like to start trying this out and seeing how I like it, just because it is more that berry tone that I've been really wanting to try out more I, alongside the... Um, Wow, I just have lip pencil. Called it lip crayon for a second in my head. I was like, what? 
Um, so yeah, so these two are in my collection. This is kind of disappointing because I don't actually get to see the progress on it. So I guess I'll just use it for what it's worth and then um, kind of phase it in and out of my, my everyday um, collection as I want to. Another thing that I got was the Mac Studio Fix Plus. This is in C3.5. Um, as you guys saw in my last video, I finished the C4 version of this. And now, um, and I was just missing it for the few days I didn't have it. And it's just such a good coverage foundation. Um, and it's, yeah, I just love it. So I went ahead and actually got it used off of Poshmark. It was actually came, pretty much came brand new. So, um, yeah, and this looks authentic, so we'll say be wary out there um, if you're buying used products. Um, so I'm excited to have this back in my collection. I think I'll be sometimes using it, sometimes not, but I just needed, I felt like I needed one in my collection, so I went ahead and got it. Um, Sephora um, put their Micro Smooth um, palette on sale, and I got it in the shade Captivate. Um, I actually got it originally in the other shade, and then I canceled that order because I was like, that's actually not a super exciting palette, the color story. But this one, I think I can actually use all these shades. Um, this is like a baked product, and they're made in Italy, and um, I've just been eyeing it for a really long time, and since it was on sale and I had a, uh, a little gift card, I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up. I feel like I could use this both on my face and my eyes, and I think it would turn out really well. So, um, so yeah, I'll test this out a little bit more, but I'll probably end up using other products first and then kind of coming back to this. And then um, one last thing that I got was actually um, the freebie that came with the palette, and it's this JVN Air Dry Cream. Um, I've never used this before. It just looks like a hair product, which I typically don't feature in these products, but I thought since they gave it as a freebie, I did like an in-store pickup, so I think that's why this freebie was so much more generous than the ones that come in the online orders. Um, but yeah, but I think it just looks like you just add it through dry hair. Uh, or not dry hair, you add it to wet hair and then you let it naturally air dry. Um, so I'll see if this is right for me. If not, I might pass it on to someone um, who might be able to use it more than I can. So um, those are all the things that have come in and out. I think to replace this mascara, I will actually be pulling um, one of my um, grab bag stash, my, shop my stash ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up with you guys. We got the Total Temptation Brownish Black Waterproof Mascara. I love this one. This one's really, really good. Um, yeah, I remember liking this a lot. I'll see if that wand that I talked about before fits in it, but this is a good one. I love the, the wand on here already. It's just I end up wiping it off every time I apply it because I really don't need that much <laughs> um, mascara on my wand that it comes out with. Um, because the stopper doesn't stop that much. Um, all right, and then to replace the serum, I'm gonna go ahead and pull from my grab bag again. Um, we'll do this one right here. And this one is the ELF Youth Boosting Advanced Night Retinoid Serum. I think I got this, like, it's only like a few bucks or even I got it like for 50 cents or something off of the elf website so um, this one I believe is five mils which will still be generous for me um, I mean this one alone was um, I guess it's on the actual packaging itself but yeah I can't imagine that this this one was that much but anyways um, yeah I think this will last me at least a few weeks and so I might end up and emptying out into another container and then using it from there but I think this will be good just to see if this is good for me. So I think that's all I have for you guys this week. Whew, it's getting windy. Um, but next week I'll come back with some new products. I'm still working on a few things and I'll show you additional progress that I'm working on. Um, but yeah, but like I said, it's, it's, I feel like my collections has a lot of ebbs and flows as I'm working up to this no buy. I really feel like I, I'm a deal hunter. So I end up looking for a lot of deals and then like just grabbing stuff because it's on sale and not necessarily that I need it in my collection. And I think that's been actually really detrimental to, um, well, my finances, but also just the numbers in my collection. Um, and I really just, I think I need to go on the no buy to kind of you know, show some self-control around that because even though it's a good deal and it might not hit my wallet a ton, um, it adds up and um, it's also a product that I need to use. I was joking with a friend and I was saying, great, I got a lipstick for five bucks, but then it's going to be my collection for five years. And is that really what I want out of the things I buy and out of the things I use? 
And so, um, like, that's the reality of being a makeup consumer, right? Like, you you buy stuff and then you have to use it. And yeah, you can give it away, you can declutter it and whatnot, but that's that comes as a product of me not being careful with what I bring into my collection in the first place. So these are some of the things that I keep telling myself, um, you know, that the deals will come again. And even if like, I think what's really tempting is sometimes things like Poshmark where like a seller will discount it like a ton. And I don't think I can get it at that price anywhere else ever again. And that's kind of the biggest trap for me. But I think I need to tell myself that even in that case like do i really need that product like i have other products in my collection that can probably do something similar for the time being and then there's going to be plenty of other products similar products that are out there and it'll, the you know the chance will come again it might not be the same exact product but um but i think i need to be okay with that and be more like be happy and feel blessed with what i already have um i know that seems i know makeup sometimes seems shallow but uh, you know it's important to be responsible for what we have and what we use. So those are just my few thoughts there. I'll probably continue to kind of expand on that as the weeks go on. But um, yeah. So anyways, thanks for sitting through my makeup update. Um, hope you'll have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.